Hello and welcome to a new tutorial by Chronic. Today we are going to be exploring some advanced topics for volumetric fog and mist, our most advanced and flexible fog solution for Unity. Specifically, we are going to be using the fog of war features to control where the fog appears and where it doesn't. And then we will make use of it in a runtime scenario for gameplay purposes using scripting. First, we need to import the asset and set it up for use with URP. We go to Window, Package Manager and search for Volumetric and we should find the asset in the list. If you haven't already downloaded the asset, press the download button. Otherwise, press the import button. Then select the URP folder in the pop-up and press OK. Once the import process has finished, we have to do a couple of things to get things up and running with URP. Navigate to Volumetric Fog Bundle, URP, and double click on the Volumetric Fog 2 URP package, and then import to import it. Now navigate to Edit, Project Settings, and go to the Quality tab. There you will find the active URP asset. We need to click on it, and it will be highlighted in the project view. We select the asset file, and go to the renderer list, and click on the URP High Fidelity Renderer Asset. This will again highlight it in the project view. Click on that, and you will see the button Add Render Feature. Clicking on it will display a list of the available features. Pick Volumetric Fog and Mist. Now just open the included demo scene to make sure everything is working as expected. Great, that works. So let's move on to our scene. Here I have a scene in a medieval fantasy world. Perfect for me to show you some of the features of Volumetric Fog and Mist. There is an open area here and some paths leading to it, as well as an interior over there. I will add a fog volume by going to Game Object, Effects, Volumetric Fog 2, Fog Volume. Then I will move it into place to cover the entire open area and scale it appropriately. Now we need to create a volumetric fog profile. There are a couple included, but I want to show you how to adjust a new one. We click on the new fog profile button on the fog volume and a new asset is created. You can move that into a directory that makes sense for you. I will rename it to fog of war now and place it in my settings folder. Let's take a look at some of the options. I want to make a fog that covers the floor that our character will move through to give a haunted abandoned atmosphere. So first, let's adjust the color to something that matches the environment more. After we find something that works, we adjust the cloudy shapes that such fog would have by adjusting the parameters in the noise section. These are the values I think work with what I'm going for but feel free to experiment with other looks and of course, save them as different profiles. I also like the Receive Shadows feature. It integrates the fog so much more into the scene. We can also adjust the speed and direction of the animation by changing the turbulence and wind direction parameters. And now we have something that I find fits my goal. Looking around though, in order to cover the entire area, it seems I have fog in places that it shouldn't be. Like here, floating in the air outside the circular buttress. Our fog shouldn't be there, we can control where the fog is by using the fog of war feature down here. We enable the checkbox and then a bit further down, we have the fog of war editor. Now in order to paint where the fog is, we need to create a coverage texture, which is basically a mask that tells volumetric fog and mist where it should and shouldn't appear. Thankfully we have a button and by pressing it a new texture is made and assigned for us after pressing continue in the dialog box that appears. We also now have control of a brush that will allow us to paint out fog where we don't need it. Change the size of the brush. Depending on the size of your scene and fog this may differ, around 6 or 7 for this will do. Now let's paint out the fog around here, I can also remove it in these areas. If I make a mistake, I can change the mode to Add Fog here. Finally, I want to make the fog smoothly fade out here, near the stairs, so I will lightly remove some. So now we know how to bring and set up the fog, shape it however we feel like. But what if we wanted the character to interact with the fog? Well, in this case, we can dynamically alter the fog in runtime using scripting. First, let's check out what is provided with the asset. If we go into the demo folder, there is a Fog of War demo. If we open it, we can see that it alters the fog dynamically. So let's take a look at the script that drives this behavior, CapsuleController.cs. We can see that there are some variables, the implementation of controls with the arrow keys, and then there is a comment with a tip and some code. What this basically does is keep track of the position of the capsule and only updates the fog every few centimeters instead of every frame. 
This also makes it so when the capsule is not moving, the fog of war isn't updated, ensuring great performance. So we will do the same, so copy this piece of code. We will create a new script by right-clicking here in the project hierarchy and selecting C-sharp script. Name the script appropriately. I'm going to be naming it Player FOW. Open the script up in your favorite editor, Visual Studio in this case. In order to use the features of Volumetric Fog and Mist, we need to add using Volumetric Fog Mist up top. Then I will just paste the code we copied previously in the update method. Now is a good time to mention the online documentation and the section it has on scripting. The link will be in the description. As you can see here in the documentation, it is explained how to get a reference to the fog volume, as well as a variety of other properties and methods we can affect through code. Scrolling down, we will find some information about the code we copy-pasted. As you can see, there are some details on the parameters accepted by the method setFogOfWarAlpha. A world position and a radius, or a bounds object or a collider. Desired alpha and specify if this value replaces the existing transparency, or if it blends with it. The duration of the transition. The smoothness harshness of the border. The restore delay and duration. Pass zero to restore delay to make the change permanent. So now that we know what we are doing, let's go back to our script and add the variables needed to the top. There is only one thing we need to do, figure out which fog volume we are going to be affecting. In this scene it is one, but we can make some changes to allow for multiple fog volumes. First some changes to the volume itself. We will add a box collider and turn on the is trigger option. Then we will add a tag for it. Go to tags, add new tag and name it fog. Then go back to the volume and assign the tag like so. Now back in the script we just have to check if we enter the fog volume with on trigger enter. If we do, we will populate the fog volume variable and we will nullify that value on exit. Finally, we will just add a check in the update method to only change the fog of war when we are in a volume. We can now test the game by pressing play. And voila, the fog is cleared when we move over it. We can achieve many effects by adjusting the fog parameters in runtime, which brings me to the bonus part of the tutorial. It's hard to miss Elden Ring, the latest Souls-like game that has topped the charts. The inspiration for the environment and character controller in this scene is very clear, I think. One of the most iconic visual features of the series is a fog wall that sections off the boss arena, usually obscuring what is behind a door. A fog of door, one might say. We can easily achieve a similar effect with volumetric fog and mist. We just have to enable one feature in the fog manager to make it possible. So we go to the fog manager, shader options and enable fog volume rotation. Now we can make a fog volume and place it here in the door. Rotate it 90 degrees and I have created a profile for just this occasion. So we click on the slot and pick the fog of door profile. You can check out the settings here or make your own version. Let's check it out up close by playing the game. I wonder what's on the other side now. So that's it for today. We went over how to import volumetric fog and mist, customizing the volume and using fog profiles, clearing fog using fog of war, clearing fog using scripting, and making a fog of door for our games. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials by Cronect.